we present a methodology and dataset for 3D human reconstruction from single high-resolution image, named 2K2K. Overview of our work is divided into two main parts. First, we constructed a dataset of 2,000 human subjects to reconstruct high-quality human models. These subjects were captured with high-resolution DSLR cameras, resulting in highly detailed 3D normal, depth, and mesh, as well as SMPL and keypoint information. To maximize the strengths of our dataset, we propose a part-based method to reconstruct high-quality human models using 2048 resolution images. The methods of reconstruction a 3D human model from a single image goes through the following process. First, from a photo containing a person, we predict the signed distance function values through a deep learning network, pass it through the marching cube algorithm, and form in 3D human mesh. The first paper to propose such a methodology was PIFU, which learned the SDF value through an implicit function. It has since been improved upon by subsequent papers such as ARCH, ARCH++, Pamir, which used SMPL skin model, and ICON but they generally suffer from low quality results due to being trained on 512 resolution images. In contrast, PIFU HD reconstructed the human model using normal information with a resolution of 1024. However, even upon closer inspection, it can be seen that the level of detail is still lacking. Furthermore, there are also issues with the training dataset. First, commercial datasets have high quality, but the price per object is expensive. The render people dataset on the left hand side requires approximately $90,000 to purchase 2,000 objects. Non commercial datasets are exist, but they have artifacts in the mesh or rough surface and show shapes that are different from real human objects. Moreover, the number of objects is small, and most of the models are composed of adult male student, leading to a bias in the dataset. Summarize the currently available datasets, all of them have the aforementioned shortcomings. Therefore, for the first time, we will release a non-commercial dataset of over 2,000 high-quality human models. First, let me show you the dataset construction process. We installed 80 DSLR cameras in a booth to surround the subject. The multi-view images captured in the booth are processed into an initial mesh using commercial software, Reality Capture, and then retouched to create a 3D model and a texture map with color information. In addition, we manually annotated 3D keypoints and the parametric human model, SMPL. Also, our dataset reflects the appearance of real people by capturing various types of people. Our dataset made an effort to balance 2,000 people in various characteristics such as race, gender, age, and hairstyle, as shown in the statistics. Next, we will explain the architecture to handle high-resolution image. When given an input image, we needed to divide the image into parts, and these parts needed to return to their original position through inverse transformation. To solve this problem, we decided to use human keypoints. In addition, to minimize the computation required to extract each part, we defined a transformation process as similarity transform matrix. The keypoints are used to calculate the variables of the transformation matrix through linear least squares so that the keypoints can be transformed to the predefined positions of the cropped image. This process not only requires minimal computation, but also operates very robustly even with noise in the keypoints. Each of these extracted parts is divided and passed through a network that predicts the normal map of each part. Finally, these part normal maps are merged to create a high-resolution normal. Next, we use coarse to find manner to reconstruct high-resolution depth map. In order to obtain the global shape of the human body with minimal computation, we predict a low-resolution depth map by reducing the image resolution. After that, we refine the depth map similar to the super-resolution method by using a high-resolution normal map in a cascade manner. This method has the advantage of using very few network parameters and memory. We convert the high-resolution depth map into a point cloud and obtain the final mesh through the Poisson reconstruction. The effectiveness of this method is as follows. First, you can see that the normal quality improves as the image resolution increases. Especially, as shown in images B and C, using part-based methods, rather than simply using a high-resolution image, allows the network to predict detail normal of each body part. Additionally, our part-wise method uses smaller memory than using images directly, 
which becomes more effective as the image resolution increases. It uses only 64% of the memory used by the previous method for a resolution of 2048. Our model outputs results in only 0.3 seconds, compared to 13.6 seconds for the previous soda paper, PFU HD. Here are the results. First of all, for the sake of fairness, we show the results of a comparative experiment that was trained and evaluated with the same number of the existing dataset. For render people dataset, our results show much more similar results to the GT compared to others. Also, in the case of T-Human 2 dataset, our results also show superior performance in detailed observation. In particular, the surface of the face and fabric shows more smooth and detailed performance compared to other methods. Furthermore, we conduct a comparative experiment in real images using photos of World Cup players. As you can see, compared to other papers that only predict the overall surface, our results show more detailed surface representation. We reconstructed a 3D human models using a sequence of images from YouTube video and a smartphone camera. Our model is able to represent details such as facial expressions and clothing wrinkles without any tracking or blur removing process. This shows the robustness of our method. Our model and dataset can be found at the link below. Thank you for listening.